Now you've probably seen some form of the debacle, whereas the iPhone 8, 8 Plus, and 10 all support this new form of fast charging, but Apple doesn't actually give you that fast charger with the phone. Uh, and if you were to buy it from Apple, it would cost over $75. The reason for this price is you need to buy a specific USB-C to lightning cable for $25. $35 if you want a longer one, and at least the 29 watt charger, normally meant for a MacBook, to be able to power the device appropriately. So that got me wondering, how much faster is this fast charging, and is it even worth it? So I figured it was time for an experiment. So I took the same phone and killed the battery entirely, and then recharged it using the included charger and then this Apple fast charger and checked it every 15 minutes to see how much faster it was actually charging. Now, as with any fast charging tech, thanks to the way batteries and fast chargers work, the initial battery gain in the first 15 minutes is the fastest and then it gets slower as it gets closer to full. So as you can see within the first 15 minutes, the fast charger is about three times as fast as the regular one, getting 27% instead of 9% in the first 15 minutes. At the 30 minute mark, we have 48% on the fast charger versus 18 on the regular, giving Apple's claims of 50% power in 30 minutes some credibility actually. By an hour, we're at 68% versus 36, meaning that the fast charger is about twice as fast at this point. And here's where you really start to see the diminishing returns for the fast charging tech, as it takes another hour from that about to get to full for a total charging time from zero to 100 of about one hour and 55 minutes. It takes the normal charger another hour and 20 minutes or so to get to full after that, reaching full charge at three hours and 17 minutes. So there you go, about three times as fast in that first 15 minutes, and then still, you know, even after about an hour, it's still twice as fast, and you're pretty close to full by that point. Uh, so that's, I don't know, kind of accurate. Now, whether that's worth $75, eh, it's another story. Um, but if it was cheaper... So actually, I'm gonna do another video, uh, another experiment. I found a few chargers that supposedly support this standard as well that aren't from Apple, uh, which automatically makes them cheaper, as we know. Uh, so I'm going to put those in a similar test against the actual fast charger from Apple and see how they compare. If you want to check that video out, please subscribe and make sure to click that bell to be notified when I do new videos. And as soon as I do that video, you'll know. Coming soon though, uh, I got to test them out, which means I have to let them die, uh, which takes a while and then I have to charge them back up, etc. But coming soon. If you like this video though, please thumbs up it or share it greatly appreciated. And if you want more videos like this, again, please subscribe to the channel. And regardless, thanks for watching.